So there are demons and devils that are walking around in the flesh. And they are not white people. According to the Bible, the truth in the Bible, they are the ones that were not welcome at the wedding feast of God or of the Lord or of Jesus, however people have interpreted that. They're the ones that were not clothed in white, meaning their skin. And this does not mean for them to hypnotize their body to look like white, because that's where they are deceiving people, is when they hypnotize their body to be somebody they're not, for example, okay? So this is how they lied about their history, okay? And do not um, walk in the truth. Because the truth is so sh shocking to them. They have denied the truth. And they took the mark of the beast. And so they automatically, um, as well as the other people involved, okay? Not all the people involved are Hamans that have been looking through my head, okay? But the Hamans are also looking have also been looking through my head with the devices a Haman for example put advice in my wrist that was a Haitian okay fake nurse fake a r n p illegal yeah all right according to the Bible Haiti is actually Hades okay As much as I hate to say that, I've been surrounded by Hades most of my life because they look through my head to try to get popular. And that's how they tried to obtain power. And they mistook white supremacy history as something completely different than what that is. They made that to be like some kind of racist agenda against them. But that's not what that is. Okay, so they burnt down buildings. They rioted during COVID. They removed historical monuments in the USA and around the world. They were burning down, they were like ripping down statues and breaking them. Historical truth. To replace that with a lie. Just because in the Bible, they are among the religious. They are religious. Demons and devils are religious. I'm just going to say that. Okay? That's true. They're communists. They're socialists. Also, okay? Religion is based on uh, socialism or communism. So, anyway, um, what they have done is they have trampled the blood of Christ. Okay? So, for me... They danced on my bloodline, you know, murdering me telepathically, you know, through voodoo and all the other stuff they partake in. They're the sodomites. Okay? That invaded the USA. Okay? So, and they misled so many people. So, um, for example, um, I'm just going to be real. God doesn't think demons and devils matter. That's not what matters to God. Okay? But demons and devils claim to matter. And they put down everybody else to get compensation that is not theirs for an agenda that is not um, to be even carried out. I mean, they've been trying to reach their endeavors uh, since my childhood. Earlier than that also, but they really um, misled the USA historically because they believed a lie. So 
their fate in the Bible is doom. I mean, torment, torture, Hades. <sighs> Abraham was not trying to set Hades free. And this is where presently that whole Abrahamic covenant is actually a treasonous covenant against the USA, against the God of the nation. Yeah. Okay, so there, you, God does not want demons and devils equal to those that have souls. They're not equal. But what happened is, over time, because they slew Christ, they murdered Christ over and over again, and tried to dismantle the truth about the original creation, okay, of God, they believed a lie. So now, um, because God might be the Esther, and they mess with the Godhead, and, and they use a device to replace their thoughts with God's thoughts, they think they're the Esther, but they're the Hamans. You see the confusion? So everybody that partook in the device history in my head or my body, my wrist, have partaken in my desire, and they think they're me. So when I get a revelation about myself, they think they're that person. That's why everybody has been confused prophetically. <sighs> they're usurping God. That's why the mark of the beast is such a horrible sin. So horrible. Okay, so not everybody that, that's looking through my head or the Godhead is a Haman. I mean, some of the people that have been looking through my head are my soulmates. You know what I mean? <sighs> All right, so this is really not just highly embarrassing, extremely awkward, and I mean, there's demons out there that think they're God. There's demons out there that think they're the Esther. And not the Haman, but they're the Haman of the Bible. See what I'm saying? How silly that is? Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay, so in the Bible, there's an Old Testament reference about um, Ham. Okay, Ham is the Haman. Ham was not actually a legitimate child. I was a kid, and... They tried to blend in with a certain family. That is not their family. They're definitely not of the family of God. So boo, Haman, for a reason. Don't make them popular. Don't elevate them. Don't compensate for them. They're being judged by God. They're demons and devils. In the flesh. <laughs> they mocked God. They caused you all to look through my head. While they're looking through my head. To take over the world. You know what I mean? Like they're God. That's real. I mean, demons and devils, really? Wanted to rule the world through the Godhead. I know that's shocking. I know. But that's what the Bible is talking about. 